As what's going on, Nick here, and we are on to another reaction. And today, we have 20 shocking facts about brand new movies you need to know. And I like Screen Rant. I think they make pretty awesome videos for the most part. And I love the superhero movies that have been coming out recently, so I want to see what they want to show us. Should be pretty interesting. What's up, film trivia fans? Here's another video for those of you who love to shock your friends with your intricate knowledge of cinema. You might know Tom Hanks' rap from Big by Heart. Perhaps you know which year every movie in the Halloween franchise was released. And you might even know what Marvel Studios was thinking when they gave the go-ahead for that version of the Mandarin in Iron Man 3. But what about all that lesser-known movie trivia from behind the scenes? There are a lot of facts about movies that might just take you by surprise. Yeah, That's what this me. video is all about. Here's our latest edition of 20 rapid-fire behind-the-scenes movie facts. A live-action concept trailer from the Warcraft movie was shown at Comic-Con back in 2013, 2013, showing a knight fighting with an orc. Only a few hours later, it was revealed to the crowds that the film hadn't even started pre-production. Within three weeks All of its right. release, the teaser trailer for Suicide Squad had amassed more online views than both of the Batman vs Superman True. Dawn of Justice trailers. Remember that. Cara Delevingne auditioned for her role as Enchantress in Suicide Squad by reading for Martha from Edward Albee's play Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. She was asked to read the part in several different ways in order to reflect the sorceress character's split personality. Okay. Jared Leto's Joker will use a gold-plated, ivory-handled AK-47 rifle in Suicide Squad. This weapon was previously seen in another of director David Ayer's movies, End of Watch, in That's 2012. Cool. To prepare for his role as Killer Croc in Suicide Squad, Adiwali Akinoye Agbaji's research included reading comic books starring the character, observing actual crocodiles, and reading up on cannibalism. Damn. The teaser trailer for Zoolander 2 was not narrated by Stephen Hawking as many believe it was. It was narrated using a deck talk machine just like the one Hawking uses. This Disney kinda, were reportedly unsatisfied with the know. first cut of Rogue One, with the source stating that it had fallen short of what J.J. Abrams did with Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. Four weeks of reshoots in the summer of 2016 were ordered as a result. Rogue One will be the first live-action Star Wars spin-off film to appear in U.S. theaters. 1984's The Ewok Adventure and 1985's Ewok's The Battle for Endor were only released theatrically in Europe and other territories. It's now known that Steppenwolf will be the main villain in the upcoming Justice oh. League movie, but the actor for the role hasn't yet been cast. Didn't However, it is rumored that Warner Brothers want either Charles Dance or Colin Dude, Farrell Colin for the Farrell. The Colin release date Farrell. of the 2016 reboot of The Jungle Book was April the 8th in India. This was a week before its release in the US and was done to pay tribute to the Indian environment of the film and the original novel. Spider Although Spider-Man Homecoming. Homecoming is set to feature a traditional high school homecoming scene, the title is also the same as a 1984 Spider-Man comic that featured the Venom symbiote for the first time. Seriously? This could mean the villain will be featured in some way. I don't Tessa know Thompson that. will play Valkyrie, Thor's new love interest in Thor Ragnarok. In the comic Aww. books, the character leads the Valkyrior, a group of warrior goddesses who comb battlefields to pick which of the fallen are worthy of entering Thor Valhalla, okay. so you can be certain there will be a lot of deaths in the movie. The Avengers Infinity War movies will be the first Russo Brothers films in the Marvel awesome. Cinematic Universe to not have a score composed by Henry Jackman, after the composer previously worked with the directors on Captain America the Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. Although it is set in the Harry Potter universe, the American wizarding community and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them don't use the word muggles to refer to non-magic people, but instead use their own word, no match, which is short for no magic. No magic. Before Anna Villafania got the part of Sofia Martinez in Max Steel, two actresses called Skylar, Skylar Samuels and Skylar Day, were screen tested for the role. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies was the second movie reinterpreting Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, in which Sally Phillips has appeared. She previously appeared in Bridget Jones's Diary, whose source material was also a reinterpretation of Austen's classic novel. That's cool. 2016 will mark the first time in which a Bourne movie, in this case Jason Bourne, will be released in a year that a solo Spider-Man movie wasn't released. <laughs> Although notably, Spider-Man did oh, appear oh. in Captain America Civil War earlier this okay. year. In some of the posters for 2016's Ghostbuster reboot, specifically the ones featuring Kate McKinnon's Jillian Holtzman, on her Proton Pack, there's the number 2206, which is the same number as Dana Barrett's apartment in the original Ghostbusters mm. movie. Disney's animated feature movies tend to be accompanied by a short film, but 2016's Zootopia is the first one not to be accompanied by one since Tangled in oh, 2010. I don't remember that. 
In the Spanish dubbed version of Finding Dory that was screened in Mexico, the voice of the Intercom at the Weaver. Marine Life Institute is performed by Dr. Rodolfo Neri Vela, an actual Mexican scientist and astronaut who has worked with NASA. Oh, precisely. Thanks for watching our latest list of 20 shocking movie facts you didn't know. Which other great movie facts did you know of? Let us know in the comment section below and oh. be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one. It's pretty interesting. They always know how to tell you things that you don't know about because, I mean, not everyone's searching on the internet to find every single fact about a film. But I do know a lot, and there was like probably like 18 things I didn't know in this one, so it was pretty interesting, and I loved it. So, yeah, I'll probably react to more Screen Rant things they have released, and hope you guys all enjoy because this is really a fun thing to do, especially to watch from Screen Rant. It's pretty nice. And I'm going on too much, so I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.